And there are the North Shore Mustangs marching in, led by standout defensive back Eric Monroe. What a game this would be. Early on for Austin Westlake, Noah Hodes has it and fumbles, and Clavon Chason recovers for the Mustangs. He had a huge game. North Shore field goal try, Aaron Cuevas, but it's blocked and picked up by Ryan Reese, who then laterals it wildly to Matt Kelly. And what a turnaround as Westlake takes over. That will set up Andrew Boykin for the score. He gets in there, seven nothing, Westlake in the second quarter. Huge opening, North Shore right back. They're driving, Micaiah Long for the Mustang. He throws to El Troy Potts. Potts almost scores down to the one yard line. Then Long goes short for the TD. And the game is tied at seven at the half. In the third quarter, Westlake is driving. Sam Ellinger though, fumbles right there at the five. It's picked up by Andrew Hyansith. And look at him go. A 95 yard return off the fumble. And North Shore takes the lead. 14 to seven, still in the third. North Shore to punt, but it's blocked by Steven Rue. Matthew Sams will pick it up for Westlake. And look at this. He returns it 40 yards for the touchdown and the game is tied at 14. Now, same score, 208 left in the game. Grab us 38 yards for the lead and it hits the post. It stays tied. Final minute, game time. Westlake, Ellinger goes deep to Kylan Granson, and he has it to the 15. So, 16 seconds left in the game. Westlake, a 32-yard field goal to win it, but it's blocked by the Mustangs. And this game will go to overtime, tied at 14 in the first OT. Mustangs move it down, and Long will power in. And yes, this will be a touchdown. It's 21-14 North Shore. So, Westlake needs a touchdown, fourth down. They try a trick play, but Chason is not tricked. He busts the play, and the game is over. And the North Shore Mustangs, an emotional victory for the second time in school history. They are the state football champs. Yeah, a proud moment to say the least. A magnificent overtime thriller. North Shore wins the state title. Hold up that trophy. 21-14 the final. Chase on the MVP. Incredible night for the Mustang. I couldn't write a better script for how this game ended for the way this team has worked and prepared and improved and competed. And, uh, you know, with without that early season adversity, I don't know that we have the grit in us to, to finish a game like that. These kids, the senior leadership on this football team, I can't say enough about this football staff and, and the way they believed in the plan and, and kept these kids accountable. Um, you know, that's, that's why you enjoy something like this. We all have the same mindset. That's why we were, we're able to play this way. There's no superstar on the team. All of us are equally good and help each other out in a good way. It's an amazing feeling. Um, you know, I give credit to the whole team and our community for uh, coming out and show support. Um, you know, our team never stopped. I mean, we kept fighting and, and kept grinding out. The fact that we got to play it here at NRG um, and then have a magical year like this coupled with that, um, you know, these, t these kids take pride in where they're from. You know, and, and on the east side of Houston, we don't, we're not real sexy. We don't get a whole lot of the, the publicity in, in the, you know, the petrochemical areas over there. But, um, you know, I, I promise you, they're, they're proud of their neighborhood. They're proud of their community. And, uh, again, the, you know, when, when's the last time somebody inside the Beltway has been able to do something like this? And, uh, you know, I'm just so proud of, of them and, and the way they represent their school and their community.